Today we want to show you the difference between lip tattoo versus lip blush. Next. Hello everyone, good morning. This is Chan Yan Luong, founder of Glamour Academy, where your success is our priority. Today we want to show you the difference between lip tattoo versus lip blush. And uh, if you're here with me, I want to give you a warm welcome to all of you, old as well as our new members. Please follow us on Facebook, give us a thumb up or heart. And I am so happy to introduce my colleagues and friends, Francie Hart. Hello everybody, I'm Francie Hart director of uh, Glamour Academy here. And um, it's been a while since I've been on. We've been very busy. We missed you. Thank you, I missed being here, missed seeing you guys for now. <laughs> yeah, let's get back on the topic, guys. I wanna share with you, there's a lot of questions out there asking, what is the difference between old tattooed and versus the new acryl lip blush? So let's get on with the topic today. And okay. uh, the first thing we wanted to talk about, <laughs> I'll take it. okay, so the old tattooed back then, it has this really heavy lip liner. It Everybody was, wants lip lining. Yeah, back it was then. a heavy lip line. It was mm -hmm. no, no color on the inside of the yeah. lips. I specifically remember my permanent makeup instructor had that, and yeah. it was. Um, I mean, it is what it is. They yeah. would just fill on lipstick and it would look fine. Yeah, it is a fade. It's it's something, it's a trend back then. Yeah. The heavier, the better, right? Yes. So you cannot miss it. When you look at someone, all you see is the lip lining. I don't understand why. So it was more of a heavy lip line mm -hmm. look. And today's look mm -hmm. is more of an overall yeah, Blend it fills in. in the whole area. It's right. softer. Mm -hmm. it's, it's almost like More a clear. lipstick versus lip gloss yes. look. Well, if you take a look at my lips, that's an example. I have an aquarel lip um, overall, right? Overall look. Lip blush <laughs> right now. <laughs> so it's, it's really giving you a natural look. So it does, it's not like one of those like heavy red and, uh, you know, uh, matte kind of look. So I do not have it yet. <laughs> you have lipstick. I have lip, lip so back Yeah, back then too, it, your lip color looks like a lipstick. Mm -hmm. It's pretty heavy, pretty bright, pretty, um, how do you say, uh, just like if you have red, it will be just a very sharp and bright red. So there's no giving into the matte, the, the yeah. really light color. Yeah. Yeah, so as opposed to today, it's kind of like a, a lip gloss kind of look. Very soft, very mm -hmm. natural looking, just a little hint of color. Right, right. So that's the, um, the look back then. But what about the technique, right? So talk about the technique. Back then, we're using this really heavy, you know, heavy-handed, rough, Really, the you know, the, the deeper the better. <laughs> but we learned that wasn't the whole point. The deeper the better. Once you get into the course learning about the pressure, mm -hmm. it's a whole different ball game. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, versus now, the technique that we're using is very light. So the way the movement is very slow and light and shallow. So she was... Right? referring to the old technique as like a farmer that's tilling the the crops and the oh yeah. you're just digging in there and you're ripping that yeah. in and you're putting right. in pigment right. as opposed to now it's very soft and it's mm -hmm. very a light yeah. technique very um almost like grazing the skin right and pumping the pigment in there so it's closer to the surface so i guess the tilling technique uh created a lot of um um blood you mm -hmm. know and some that's something really um making a lot of people in fear of getting the service done because yeah. they fear of pain, the fear of all this uncontrollable um, blood that are coming out. 
you know, and I hear a lot of that, as yeah. opposed to now that we are in a very, you know, gentle motion. There's not so much blood coming out at all. Yeah, you don't have to go really hard and really deep to get the effect you want. Mm -hmm. It stays very soft. Right. So that's a technique. Now we're moving into of Ooh. who is a good candidate, right? Good versus bad. Good versus bad. <laughs> so the, um, the good candidate, in a way, where when you have a pale lips. Yeah, if yeah. you don't have a lot of lip color naturally or any mm -hmm. pigment color in your lips, yeah, this would be a good, a good something good for you. If you had faded lips from aging or mm -hmm. you put on lip liner and it just bleeds into the rest of your lips, mm -hmm. this would be a good technique for right. you. And scars. So scars and even lips. Mm -hmm. um, we can use the, yeah. the technique to cover that scar uh, and it to even blend it in. Plumps up your lips a little bit, gives it that kind of right. outturned look. So what about people with uneven? That's a good candidate. Even uneven like lips. One side is higher, higher than the <laughs> other. So you, you tend to kind of give a little bit of, um, you know, um, give and take mm -hmm. where, you know, you, it's one's higher, pull them down, and the other one is lower, get them up, even right. it out. And then, Let's talk about bad candidates. Yeah. So who's not, who's not a good candidate? Um, people with hyperpigmentation. So not so often that people having like a little bit of, uh, uh, pigmentations on one side of the lips mm -hmm. or inside, mm -hmm. you know, um, that might not be a good candidate where if you get your, your lip blush in, it's that pigmentations area would tend to always get heavier look. Yeah. Um, also, people that are um, going, chemo, going, going on chemo, chemo right? Um, right? That's not good because your body is going to naturally... It might be even hypersensitive to this treatment. It mm -hmm. might push the ink out or mm -hmm. it might... Deactivate the pigments. Yeah. Yeah, because it changes the chemical and the, the whole... Um... You might actually end up with a different color. <laughs> it's true. It's true because, mm -hmm. you know, if you're coming in with the red, right, and then the, the chemo is coming, because chemo uh, exudes different uh, level uh, of uh, radiation, right? So with all that, and b basically, you know, pigments are in a, an array of different, um, um, what do you call, uh, color radiations? Uh, color radiation, yeah. yeah. So that can change the pigment as well, the color. Um, also people that are pregnant or nursing, uh -huh. you don't want to do that on them. Right, right. Get, well, it's obvious that if you, obvious, you are, your line, a bloodline is directly, you know, affecting the fetus. So we are not going to have any chemical or anything at you all. You don't want to do anything that can. It follows that streamline, blood yeah. streams and just go right into yeah, the, the fetus. Anything like that, you just don't want it. Um, <laughs> blood thinners. Yeah, people with diabetics. Right. Anybody taking blood thinners, mm -hmm. this is going to cause more bleeding. Mm -hmm. And what happens with more bleeding, you're going to push that pigment out. Mm -hmm. Pigment will not retain. That's right. So that's not a good one. Not a good candidate. I'm going to get this to you. What happened here? Let me try there we go. <laughs> okay. So the last thing, uh, why are we doing this? We want to show you uh, the difference between back then um, with touch, lips mm -hmm. tattooed versus now. And um, why are we doing this is, um, you know, who should take this course? Who should pick up the lip blush course? I think people that have already <laughs> taken the course way back when, done mm -hmm. your permanent lip liner, permanent eyeliner, why not mm -hmm. update your skills a little bit and refresh, refresh, refresh what you eye. already know, mm -hmm. but maybe learn a new technique on how to do things. Yeah. Um, yeah. Every so often, right, you, you learn the old technique and now okay, comes the new technique. You got to up, Times up, your, <laughs> up your level. <laughs> yeah, up That's your skill right. level. Yeah. So and the next thing that you wanted to, um, you should take this course is because uh, to increase your revenue. And I think uh, there's so much um, questions and demands out there who are um, asking, oh my gosh, you know, I'm so tired of spending money on lipstick and uh, not so often I got the right one 
or it's just a messy, cost money, you know. And you can so, wake up looking made up. Yeah. So wake up with makeup. Exactly. So in, in, in that case, you should take this course to really put it put under your belt, mm -hmm. increase your, you know, to, to get in that revenue. And clients actually spend a phenomenon money to get the lips done. So think about that. That's one part of your um, part of your beauty industry, mm -hmm. you know, uh, package. And the last thing is that why people should take up this, this current situation. I I have seen so many funny things. People wear masks right now, right? And I, God forbid, it, you know, they forgot they wear lipstick and then mask on. So what happened when mask off? I have seen. <laughs> a tremendous amount of different looks on different people. So I have seen lipstick that are pulled right over their nose, <laughs> lipstick that are smeared. And it's not convenient. It's just a bad taste of having the lipstick and wear mask. So why not get your lip blush? So all of you out there <laughs> are a lip or permanent makeup artist. This is for you. This yeah, is it's, something. it's a good way to to you know increase your revenue and update your portfolio mm -hmm. and learn a new skill and the list goes on and on we we good yeah we're great hey guys you know um thank you so much for being here with us here and i know you know your precious time and you here with us that speaks a lot volumes about who you who you are and um, your love and uh, your time for us here at the academy and uh, we would like to see you again i myself tanya lung founder of glamour academy again with frenzy heart here your success is our priority we'll see you again next live we'll thank see you very soon ciao